Okay, repeat purchase. I got the same deal. It's like 36 shrimp. So there's half. The other half's over there. And I opted for baked potatoes. But basically you get eight sides. So there's four more here. I always opt for baked potatoes in general because when there's like the possibility of like fries or rice i just think this is the healthiest option because baked potatoes potatoes in general i think get a bad rap right but a baked potato on its own is like quite healthy so that and there's the sauce which is the best part and then i think you get eight biscuits but to get this deal uh so this is grubhub i usually order off doordash because doordash uh both apps have their own program where you pay ten dollars a month and then you get zero delivery fees and then they decrease the service fees so doordash is included with my credit card for two years on top of like i think it's like sixty dollars credit for the two years each which is kind of awesome so i typically order from doordash but grubhub was doing a deal where it was $10 off a $40 purchase, which is great since this whole meal is usually like 37 ish. So I had to add something to get me to that $40 mark. So I added just like extra Chatter Bay biscuits. So 10 off 40 and then I was able to apply a $15 code, which dropped the whole thing down to like 20 bucks for this whole meal, which is kind of awesome. But I still had to pay like, you know, delivery service and then tip. So overall, I still spent like maybe $25 for all of this, which is still good. This will last me like days, three days of food, especially with baked potatoes. Like I can just have one of these and be like quite full. And sometimes I'll like mash up the, the Cheddar Bay biscuits into like an omelet or something. It's just, it could go on for days. And then sometimes I'll take these and add them to like some spring rolls or something. I mean, there's just so many options. So before the pandemic, I probably would not have considered getting like paying the $10 a month for either Grubhub or DoorDash or even like Postmates. I don't know what Postmates offers because they don't really have a lot of options in my area as far as food goes. But after having it, I would totally sign up because $10 a month, as long as you order like twice a month, you will earn back your membership fee. So uh, yes, I'm hungry. So <laughs> Red Lobster doesn't open till like noon i think by me so i haven't had anything except for coffee and it's like 12 30 right now so i'm hungry so cheddar bay biscuits and an omelet with cheese black pepper so let's see if the flip works or not okay so there was a little burn action slight burn action when i went to go get the camera but it's otherwise looking pretty good the shape is good the texture is firm a little fluffy so I don't know. I just woke up. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. Okay, guys, so I'm feeling a little disrespectful today, but I'm like really tired. So hair is not done. You get what you get. And I feel like I should have changed my robe out to match all these like fiery tones and like the nails and everything, but I did not. Um, so, but the robe is super cute. It has like really proper detached kimono sleeves also obviously i'm sitting down so usually standing up you know i like that but also again i'm like tired today so i'm gonna sit down see how it goes i also think it gives like a different background like you can see much more of everything uh you can see like the work in process how everything's kind of like in disarray like on like that like what do you call that cabinet and then here this is gonna just slowly keep changing okay so ew Sorry, Sumo was like sitting on this table with me and he just licked all my swatches. Oh, you're so cute. You're so distracting. Why are you so precious? Why are you so pretty eyelashes? Okay, so, all right, makeup. For my base today, I have the Glossier Skin Tint and mine is in the shade G10. I really like it, it's very pretty. I did not set my makeup today, so it's very glowy, very shiny. In four hours, probably not gonna look that great, but we are not going anywhere. The Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in the shade Soft Beige is what I use for under eye concealer today. Again, it's like glowy, soft, pretty. Um, and I did set this with the La Mer powder. I, am, I think I'm just trying to like 
completely use it up since once you do hit pan if you consistently use it you will use up the entire product which is my goal for bronzer i have this revlon baked bronzer it's in the shade sun kissed beam i think these got a lot of well i saw a lot of people talk about them when they were first released and then no one has talked about them since and the highlight is daybreak glimmer also from revlon they're both very very pretty we'll do swatches in a little bit okay so the main thing i want to talk about is this eyeshadow quad it's from the lip bar and it's in the shade brown bombshell you have again it's a quad you have four shades you have three mattes and then this one shimmery shade that feels like a cream it is not so soft that like it leaves an indentation when you like put your finger in it it's just really beautiful i like prefer this to like color pop uh or things similar to that if i could have multiple shades in just this formula i would be so for it because there's something about having this on the eyes i've had this for like a couple months and Whenever I use it, I think my eye skin looks really good. If you are someone that thinks that certain eyeshadows make your eyes look drier or crepier on the lids or wherever you have creases or wrinkles, I would recommend this. Their formula is very beautiful. I've just noticed when I put it on, I just like the way the skin around my eyes looks. It just looks more youthful. I don't know. Because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. It's also, I'm tired. So... Um, packaging wise, I'm not really sure what is going on here. I think it has like a stained glass vibe, which is kind of cool. I don't know if it's like a butterfly or, I mean, they could be boobs. I'm not really sure. And then again, you have your four shades underneath that is a mirror. And then you have a tiny brush. That's that. I picked it up off of Target. So good prices. They have other shades, obviously, but I would say this one is like the least bold of them all and this one's already quite bold i mean i use the red if you don't use the red then of course it won't be as bold but there's like a purple one i was kind of eyeing i'm like looking forward to what else they release i don't think that target carries the full line of their products i know that while target will carry like certain brands you just don't get the full line uh i've noticed that with a lot of things that they carry on the website it's very selective i mean i understand why maybe it's from like a business perspective they want to just slowly introduce you know products or like even say like ColourPop on ulta you don't get everything that's on the ColourPop website on the ulta website so um i recommend this to you i think it's really pretty and then to round out the rest of the eye makeup we have a maybelline pencil liner in the shade rusty terracotta that is on the waterline i put it on lightly so you're not going to see it it's like not super intense and then the liquid liner is from color pop it's in the shade try me and i mean in case you haven't noticed it's red liquid liner and i love it uh, i wore this a lot maybe like three months ago i remember it was like early quarantine times i was not in quarantine i'm just like giving you a reference uh, and then I kind of like shifted out of it. This looks so good with a smoky eye. All of the colored eyeliners in the ColourPop liquid liner, like I think is it the BFF liquid liner? Or is that just their pencils? These are really good though. The color is very inten intense and pigmented, if you can't tell. So obviously this look is not for everyone. I like this look. I like reds and golds, you know, very Chinese New Year. Um, but get you a little closer i really don't like the way my brows look today i think they look a little janky but um yes i think a lot of people would prefer a brown or a black liner but for me i'm like really feeling like the red vibe again that like center shade i put it on the top lid and i put it on a little bit on the lower lash line just to give there a little bit of just to give there a little bit of you know, I've had breakfast already. <laughs> I showed you my breakfast. I don't know why I'm so tired. Okay. Uh, lastly is the lip, and it's from L'Oreal. It's the Colorish Plump and Shine Nectarine Plump. It's a very pretty orangey shade. My lips are naturally kind of like this like dull gray mauve color, so it's not showing up as pigmented as it should. Also, Sumo like ran into my face earlier. I, I don't know if I have the footage. We'll include it at the end if if it's there. But I like this. It really does plump your lips a little bit and like fills and fills and plumps your lines temporarily. But it's like it's like a nice feeling product. I have like 
I think three different shades of this. They're just, they're really nice to have around. And is that it? I think so. Oh my God, swatches. <laughs> so those are all the eyeshadows. I mean, look at that pigment. It's just beautiful. Did I share my nail color yet? It's Sally Hansen Quickfire. Uh, again, so that's the Maybelline Rusty Terracotta, the ColourPop Try Me Liquid Liner, the lip color, and then the bronzer and the highlight. Very pretty. I, I really like this bronzer. It's a satin. It's like a matte satin. I think depending on how you do your makeup, it can go either way. What time is it? I feel like the sun has definitely risen. It's almost noon. I will not lie. I have filmed this three times because the lighting kept changing and then I was like, you know what? I really can't do anything about it. So here we are. That's probably another reason why I'm tired. Can I tell you how many times have I said I'm tired? Okay. For this Trader Joe's Cacio e Pepe, it is quite beautiful. I tried to maintain the little swirly things as much as possible. So I cooked it for longer, obviously. I did like nudge the center a little bit to... Okay, I guess we can... <laughs> Hi! Focus on you until it stops. Okay, so... What was I saying? <laughs> oh, I nudged the center a little bit to like open it up and like have it steam faster. So these come like in little nests and then there's chunks of frozen sauce. So whenever I make these, I tend to lose a lot of the sauce even though I follow the instructions. So I would say maybe separate a portion of the sauce away until later and just use a little bit of the sauce chunks. <laughs> I hate that word, sauce chunks. Oh, that sounds gross. Okay, I think is good for like maybe two people or like if you're like feeding a family, everyone gets like one or two little like medallion or like nest type things. So, and it's good. I've already like broken up the one in the middle to try like super yummy. And there's like a lot of good black pepper flavor, like enough where it feels a little spicy. So I'm excited. They also came out with a ravioli version of this, which I am obviously going to try and get my hands on. I saw some other new things. It was like a Brazilian cheese bread, uh, a new tomato sauce, but it's spicy. So I don't know if I'm going to get that. And then... <sighs> yeah. Okay guys, so I wanted to share some Labor Day information style stuff with you. Um, it's Friday, it's right after work. I am hot, I am sweaty. Ugh. Okay, so first of all, I shot from skin store earlier, I think earlier this week, which means this got here really quickly. So this is 25% off, and I think it's being extended through like all through Labor Day. So but when I shopped, there was 20% cash back off of top, top cash back. So it was a really good sale. So I got the cleansing spa water, my favorite. I talk about this all the time. I have a bajillion empties. So I think it's like 72 or 75 at retail, like for this size. So 25% off, 20% cash back. Had to pick, pick, had to pick one up. Um, I always have a backup. This is my daily cleansing water. I use it in the morning. Like when I get up, this is like the only thing I use to cleanse my face and then I put my skincare on. I use it at night before I cleanse, like with actual cleanser. So this is like a go-to for me. And while there are a lot of cleansing waters, I've used a lot of them. I've easily tried like 30 to 50 and this is still my favorite. A very close second would be the Bioderma. I have two bottles of this. This is very affordable. It's like $14.90 retail. I have the New Face Gel Primer. So I had talked to you guys about New Face, I don't know, a couple videos ago, and I've tried it a couple times since then, but I haven't been consistent with it because I don't have the gel. I don't have like a very large amount of the gel. So I'm sorry guys, my AC just came on. This clip is gonna be a mess, but like I don't have other time to film this so before this goes up. So I used it a couple times. The first time I went on the internet onto YouTube and went to their channel and did a basic routine and then I followed up with a more advanced routine and I am telling you, I could feel how tight my face was. After I had done all that, I went to go put lip balm on because you know I was about to go to bed and my face was so tight, like I couldn't even, I could move, but there was tension not allowing me to like move my lips necessarily like my face felt lifted and tightened so i cannot wait to be consistent with this because 
I'm trying to lift things. I'm trying to lift this. I'm trying to like, there's, I have one line in here that I'm trying to get rid of. Sorry guys, I like rub my eyes like around 2.30. So until I feel comfortable with an alternative to this, i.e. I've looked at aloe vera gel, but my friend who's an esthetician is like, mm, she's like, it doesn't work for everyone. So I'm going to further research that. I looked at ultrasound gel, silver gel. Also, a lot of people will use serums that are like a gel-like texture. So, you know, I have to look and see what ingredients everything has. Obviously, there's certain ingredients you don't want when you're using a microcurrent device. But for now, we're gonna use this. So excited. Uh, I had shared the Wander Beauty blush with you earlier in Sweet Talker. So I decided to pick up the other shade in this sale. It's called Rendezvous and it's a pink and it's what I have on my lips. So there's Rendezvous and this one is Sweet Talker. So when I had shared this with you originally, I had only tried it on my lips and I hadn't tried it on my cheeks. I have since used it on my cheeks and I really like it. So highly recommend both of these. Again, they come with like a clear balm on the bottom that you can use to highlight and or put on your lips. It's just so good and a little mirror. Okay, so with this purchase, they did like a like a freebie and it was like a really good bag of freebies. So there's some hair stuff that I don't really care about to share with you. There's a little bottle of Bioderma, this throat and boob cream, which I could be interested in using. Skin Medica Hydrating Cream. Now, Skin Medica is a brand that I've tried a lot of samples from, specifically from Skin Store. Like when I purchase, I often will get something like from this brand, but I haven't been wowed enough, or maybe I'm not trying the right things to buy anything full price yet. I have, what else? Karuna, Dermalogica. Oh, this was something exciting. The Obagi SPF 50. If you guys, let me see what else is here. I think there's a few questions I wanted to ask you guys. Okay, no. It actually came with like a little new fix serum thing too, but Obagi Natura Base and Skin Scoots. Skin Suiticals. Of these three brands, if there's anything that you really love that you think I would really love, tell me because I'm interested in trying from more from these brands. These are things where I haven't purchased anything full size before because well actually Skin Suiticals did send me the HA intensifier. So I had a big bottle of that and I know it's pricey, but when I used it, I didn't really see anything. Maybe I'm too young for it, but I gave it to my mom and my mom loved it. So let me know on these brands. Scott Barnes is also doing a sale this weekend. So I like his glosses. They are a brush tip though. So if you don't like that, definitely don't buy that. I highly recommend any of his face palettes. His powder formula in general is beautiful. So then, Blush palette is the newest one. Obviously, you guys know I've only just been like, okay, I can do blush. So very little use here. Medium use here and a lot of use here. So I would recommend any of his face palettes to you. And if you're interested in the color combinations of his eyeshadow palettes, then I would recommend those to you. This one obviously gets more use. This one basically has like this blue that I will never wear, um, which is that, so the blue and the silver, those two colors, I don't, that's, those are no-goes for me. Okay, so lastly, I have a list on my phone that I wrote out because these are sales that, uh, that caught my eye, so I'm gonna share them with you. Obviously, there's a lot of sales. I'm sure your inbox is just filled. ASOS is doing 20% off 150, which 20% off is good. Having the $150 threshold, I don't know how I feel about that, but ASOS internationally just carries so many brands that if there's something you were looking for that maybe you thought you couldn't get in your country, maybe ASOS carries it. Uh, Beautylish is doing a sale. Um, if there's a code for any of these, I'll list it below. And if there isn't, I'll write no code. So Beautylish has a fall sale going on right now. I just got the email probably around noon today. There's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of bundles. So if there's anything where like you really like something, you might be able to get like more than one for a really good price. ColourPop, Look Fantastic is doing a sale. They're doing 22% and they are the sister site of Skin Store. So you can check them out. Um, Luisa Villaroma, okay. Listen, Luisa Villaroma has a code for 50% off. If you are unfamiliar with Luisa Villaroma, 
I put a Givenchy bag in my cart, put the coat on. That bag is now 50% off. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I'm just saying. Full price items on this website are 50% off. Makeup Forever, oh, Makeup Forever. I wanna talk about that. So this powder that I love so much that I talk about all the time that I have Hit Pan on, they are doing 15% off 75, 20% off 125. Not the most amazing sale, but if there's more items you're interested in, then it's a good sale. Nordstrom Rack happens to be doing Clear the Rack this week, end, so 25% off clearance. Pat McGrath has a sale section, Scott Barnes I mentioned, Sephora has added a numerous items to their sale section for this weekend, and Skin Store, like I mentioned. I'll list each of the items I talked about so you can just not have to look for them. So yes, that is Labor Day information. Oh, of course, I finished this whole clip and now my AC turns off. So yeah. Okay, yes, I will see you guys next week. Bye.